Hi, families. Um, so Mrs. Whitworth and I are going to show you a new feature we've paid for. It's called Schoolytics, and you'll uh, sign up for it with schoolytics.com. Um, and we're going to kind of show you that. But I want to let you know that if you aren't receiving Google Classroom Guardian summaries, um, you'll need to make sure and reach out to your mentor teacher so that they can add your email address to your students' Google Classrooms. And that's the means with which our program Schoolytics knows that you're connected with the right kiddo. Um, and some of you have not accepted an invitation, so you might just search your emails um, for an invitation to be a guardian. So um, we are, this is what we're just going to show you basically where we'd go um, to, well, or I can do that as well first. And then we'll show you what an email looks like that they send you. So let's see if I can find a page that we can work on. Okay. So you go to schoolytics.com. And I'm not going to accept the one that's on mine because that's a teacher view. Um, but you'll hit um, the login button here. Um, and of course, for me, it's already logging me in. The minute, <laughs> so I log out. So in your case, it'll come to this page and then you'll hit login with as a parent or guardian. This email address has to be the email that you're using with um, Google Classroom. That was the point. And then you make sure and hit your I'm not a robot thing. Um, and then what happens after that, Mrs. Whitworth? So then after that, um, let me go ahead and share my screen. That's actually the screen I have pulled up. So um, after you hit this login, they're going to send you <clears throat> an email with a link in it. And then once you click this link, it's it just takes you right in. I didn't even have to um, log in the second time. As soon as I click that link and my my email address is associated with my child's Google Classroom account, then it just takes me there. Oh, sorry, that it says that token has expired because it only lasts for five minutes. So just keep that in mind. This this email, it, it you got to do it quick. So don't like do it and then think you can kind of come back to it. So mm -hmm. once they send you that, you click on it and and you get logged in. So um, I'll go ahead and let's see. I'll go ahead and use this or sign in here. The first time I did it, when I clicked on that, it just took me right in um, and I didn't have to log in. So it'll just take you there. I'm sorry, my computer is so slow today. <laughs> I even called my email or my internet people because it was so slow. Um, and then this just, you'll just say yes, allow this. It just says you, um, your email can be linked to the Google Classroom rosters for your child. So click allow there. And then it pulls up a dashboard. So this is my child and you can see, you can click around and see what, he's, what they've completed. You can change the date. This is the last 30 days, but I could say, let's look at all the whole year or anyway. So the nice thing about this is all of his classes, I can look at all of them at the same time and I can see what he received on each of the portfolios. I can see, um, I can see what he's missing. I, it just, it's been really, it's been really nice. So well, okay. if you go back just a little bit, <clears throat> one screen, so exit out of that. And then if you click on Ethan's name, mm -hmm. it should bring up a dashboard that kind of shows yeah. you. Um, and the assignment completion, because that's one of the things we're working on right now is to make sure that everybody has at least 35% completion rate. Um, that's that's on that bottom left in that blue circle you can kind of see. Yeah, um, yes, yeah, 62%. Yeah. Don't, don't panic, that's not a D. <laughs> no, that's just completion rate. And that's completion rate. <laughs> yeah, and legit at this point, you probably should be a little further along, around 66%. He's not in a ton of classes, so. No, he is in a ton of classes. Anyway. Well, he's actually only doing, he's, he's signed up for a couple that are two credit classes, but he's only doing one credit of those two credit classes. So okay. that's, that's why his looks a little bit skewed, so. Right. Is what's that, is that all that's on there? Is there anything on the bottom? Um, there's a completed trend. assignment trends. He he finished all of his um the ones that he's working on right now quite a while ago. So I would have to change the date on this. Oh, okay. Um, to look at um like let's just say since August first till until now, and then as we go down. 
it should show us. Yeah, that trend thing doesn't quite make oh, sense. Oh, that trend line still just does just the last 30 days. So mm -hmm. that trend line won't won't change. So, so you know, at the bottom, and you then the, the assignments, right? Yeah, yeah, I can click into these and see um, exactly what it, oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to switch accounts. Give me just a second. Cause I don't wanna log in as a teacher. I wanna log in as a mom. Right. And I was logged into Google Classroom, so. We're going back to classes for now. He Has he completed his English class and been removed? Oh. Oh, yeah, so this is interesting. I'm wondering, um, I'm wondering if I am not, no, I would have to be. Interesting. It's just going to keep bringing me up there. Like a teacher. Normally, if you're not a teacher, <laughs> you can click <laughs> on these and bring them up. But it's not. It's just bringing up my teacher because I have I have Google Classes as a teacher under mm -hmm. this email also. So wow. it's it's being a little bit funky that way. But normally, you can click on these and it'll just bring up. Um, it'll bring up the assignment, but it's not going to do that for us today because it wants to keep saying I'm. A teacher, yeah. A teacher instead of a mom. So, great. But um, that this is a lot more helpful than like the weekly Google, um, right. what that thing called? Summary? Yes. Guardian. Yeah. The Guardian summary, I kept getting it and just thinking there is absolutely nothing in this. It basically just kind of listed his classes every week uh -huh. and it would tell me. The, it would just list all of the assignments that were there, but it wasn't ever telling me if he completed them or what he was scoring on them or anything like that. So this has been a lot more helpful as far as um, trying to see where he's at and, and what we've got done and what we're working on. So. so can you do me another favor? Click on the little bell with the plus sign right over on the right hand side. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There it is. Sorry, my video was in the way. Yeah, so I can schedule, you can schedule a weekly email here. Yeah, so you can have it send you a summary. Um, yeah. Of the last seven days. So then you would be getting it like, and you pick the time and the day you want to get it so you can see what's happened. So then it would just be an email rather than having to necessarily log in to this portal. Yeah, yeah. Also and I'm guessing, I haven't tried this, but I'm guessing what this will do is send you the dashboard information. Okay. We, we so, are sure, but we hope so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Very cool. Um, if you want to let go of the screen, I'll just, I guess I can stop the video. Thanks, <laughs> everyone. I hope this helps some. Yeah.